Matt, this is a pretty unique wall. Why don't you tell us what's going on here? Well, as, as you know, we've had a number of iterations of the, the batter's eye here at Target Field, starting when the trees came out. We've painted it different colors. We've had the Alcor aluminum backdrop and all this other stuff has gone on and we decided that we wanted to bring back some greenery. The aesthetics of Target Field are so great and the batter's eye has been, I don't want to say a sore spot, but it was starting to show some age, the water staining coming down the, the aluminum. And it just, we, we started thinking about what can we do to green it back up. We discovered this system uh, made by Green Living Technologies out of Buffalo, New York. And it's a system of trays, which obviously you guys, you guys have seen here. It will be self-irrigated through our Pentair system and it will allow us to have the, uh, the 6,000 junipers here and create kind of a, a steady backdrop that will be aesthetically pleasing and shouldn't really affect the playability of the, of the game at all. Well, the backstory is some of the players really did not like the light glistening off the needles of those original pine trees as, of course, they moved in the wind. So they're really hoping that this solution will work. And we went out and actually saw a sample of it at, at Liberty Mutual Plaza in Boston of, a, of an existing wall. And uh, we started thinking about it, we started talking about it, and it was like, it, it's a natural, it's, it's perfect. The, you know, the, the, the consistency of the color and everything, and the lack of movement, which is one of the issues with the, the previous tree situation, we think we're gonna have something that's, you know, once again, it isn't gonna affect the playability and it's gonna be very aesthetically pleasing.